Previously on The Walking Dead. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. And AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ that what he'd done was murder, that he'd have to atone for it. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Violet in the bell tower. We looked at the stars together and I admitted I had feelings for her. She felt the same way. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Violet. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone but we knew someone who did. At the start, I was so little, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. Now he's gone. Stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. Look, I promise you, Willie, the people who did this, we're going to hit them back. They're gonna regret ever coming near us. If Mitch were here, he wouldn't cry. He'd find a way to get our friends back. Then he'd bash Lily's brains out with a rock. Hey, AJ's waiting for you in the basement. We got Abel tied up tight. He's alive, but he's out cold. Thanks. We should bury Mitch. It's time. I'll help you carry Get away from him! <laughs> You're the reason he's dead! Willie! Well, it's true! We had a plan, and that idiot messed it up! Hey, cut that shit out! Someone's gotta say it! It's what everyone's thinking! Ten! I'll take care of this. 
Talk to Abel, find out where Lily took Lewis, Omar, and Asim. And Clem, don't be afraid to, you know, hurt him a little. Maybe you'll get more out of him than we did. Should be strong enough to hold him. Got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. <sighs> Ready? This afternoon nap. I was having a nice dream too. About a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> Got any water? Drink. You've had your water. Now it's time to talk. It's the first time interrogating someone, isn't it? <laughs> you let me dictate the agenda. Makes me think you're weak. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's gonna turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. We underestimated you little shits, but Lily won't make the same mistake twice. She'll be back, trust me. You think Lily would come back for you? Look at the state you're in. You're worthless to her now. I can heal. There is no rescue party, Abel. Only a bunch of pissed off kids who want you dead. So tell us where our friends are. You trade it for mercy. <coughs> Lily will never give him up. The only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me for three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war with some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say, 
point the guns the way we tell them to. You little... No fucking way I'd let my people fight for you. I'm starting to think you're mad at me. You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. I answered all your questions. Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud, among the beasts, that shall ye eat? What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? Smoke will clear my mind. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Now that is heavenly. <coughs> Isn't that what you wanted? I did, but... <laughs> You're gonna get your wish. <laughs> when you pushed me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No! <laughs> my, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to turn on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise, you won't let me turn. I'm begging you. How about this? How about you tell me everything you know, and then we'll see. I need assurances. That's as good as you're gonna get. Hurry up, Abel. You don't have much time. You wouldn't do it. <sighs> You would let me become one of those things. Try me. <laughs> what if they... What if they could feel it when they turn? <laughs> well, you'll find out soon enough. Maybe you just end up trapped along for the ride. There are people trapped inside walkers? Yeah, yeah. That's why you put a bullet in them, if they're gonna turn. Or maybe that's why you let them. Okay, okay. <coughs> in my boot, you'll find a paper with everything you need to know. AJ, check his boot. We have a boat. <laughs> that paper shows the miles to the nearest stops. Those words, their city names. We use them like a call and response. Make sure we don't go shooting our home. Only one we use these days is Rockingham. 
I can't believe you actually got me to give that up. <laughs> you, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please, I don't want to turn. <laughs> You're going to be stuck in that broken shell of a body forever. AJ, don't look away. I want you to see this. I want to. Is he still in there? Come on, we have a boat to find.
Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was! Mitch died because he- Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, look! You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. A rabbit's foot. Walmart used to carry around a rabbit's foot. You don't think? We'll take it home. We can give it back to him once we've saved him. horses when the raiders came through. Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. fire. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses, too. We could get on the boat easier that way. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. You ever seen this boat before? No. Marlin kept us confined to the safe zone. Pier leading up to the boat? It's our only way in and out. Well, let's see what else is down there. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. They're probably below deck. We should have asked Abel. When he said on a boat, I didn't think it'd be this big. I can see an entrance. I saw that too. It looks like there's a door at the other end. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. There are a few on deck, a couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Looks like they're well armed too. Wait, I see Lewis. Abel wasn't lying. This is it. The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. No good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Walkers! Maybe if we could get walkers on the beach somehow. 
Maybe not as hard as you'd think. Anything useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. More torches. Torches? We could use the fire. Oh, yeah! They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy! We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. I could build traps. Weapons. I think we should save the horses. Ruby would help with that. She's like a horse whisperer. We'll take them in the hay and burn the stuff on the rafts. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about, James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Perfect. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! A raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Drop it! <sighs> How many of you are there? How many of who? I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. Eight. There's eight. Clementine, wait! That... That's many. After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um... She died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. 
I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. Not the new kid. Violet's the one in charge. Really? The Violet I knew could barely stand to talk to people, let alone play class president. You're the one who convinced the school to fight back. From where I'm standing, that puts you in charge. Your leadership is going to get my little brother killed. Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did. Like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What the hell he gave you and Sophie away? Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. Minnie, you're wrong. Glenn protected us. He wouldn't have gotten people killed? He murdered Brody. What? Where's Sophie? Is she alive? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. Hero? God, you never bought! Shit. Rocking him! Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're gonna save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. It's not too late, Minnie. You could come back to the school with us. No. No, I couldn't. Are you okay? Nothing's changed. Our plan is to get onto the boat and save our friends. So that's what we're gonna do. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except Ten. I warned you. Enough, both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Good luck. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow! Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. I tried breathing, kicking rocks. Sometimes staying focused on what I'm doing helps me forget when I'm angry. Just, uh, think about saving our friends or- Yeah, I know. I'm trying. Right now it's just different. I can't make my brain switch to thinking about that. Like, I think... 
I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, the other kids haven't had it as hard as we've had. We had to make a lot of mistakes to learn what we know. Yeah. I guess, but Tin's mistakes are just so bad. Maybe he'll learn from them too, like we did. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you. I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. You sock it right in the mouth. It has a mouth? What I'm saying is that, like everything else in the world, you can fight it. Hmm. Huh. So, it's like controlling my anger? Almost exactly. I can do that. I still like them. I like Tin the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh, yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. Am not. Fine. He's my second first real friend. I don't see James, just monsters. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. Maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. Run. Hey, over here! 
AJ! No, there are too many of them. The cart. Push it, the noise will draw them away. Okay? Yeah, no bites. I know it would have been easier to kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really. Thank you for helping me get this back. How will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I have something I need you to see, so you can understand what you're asking. James. We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. It's safe. a little further. What's this? It's called a salt lick. Salt lick? Ugh, sounds gross. Or maybe it's actually good, like chips. Those are salty, right? Like the snack bag in the car. Go ahead, lick it if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross. It tastes nasty. <laughs> well, now you know. Ugh, learning sucks. A wind chime. It might be pretty in our room. like there's been a horse here in a long time. Beatnik. Must have had electricity here once.
My people, my former people, they had a practice. They called it collecting. use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly, but <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. God, I hope that's not true. That sounds like hell. To you, maybe. I think it seems... peaceful. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. As someone you cared about turned. Clem's friend, Lee. She shot him before he did. So he wouldn't have to suffer. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone. They're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just... monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem! She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. If it gets bad in there, I'll need you to save me, okay? Can you do that? I... Yes. I'll always protect you. I know you will. The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Check the windows. I will. Don't let fear take over. I will. I promise. The mask will disguise your scent. But be gentle. And be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see.
It's all right. I'm fine. See? No bites. No bites. So, do you still think they're just monsters? Now that you've seen them at peace, any different at all? I... I think you might be right about there being something more to them. It was kind of nice in there. Really? I never met someone who understood. It's... Thank you. I'm glad. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before too. AJ. You've killed someone? Yeah. I'm a murderer. But I'm trying to atone. Well, that's good. I guess. <sighs> that's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. You saved AJ and me because you said you didn't want us to become soldiers. What makes it okay this time? They're going to make all our friends into killers. More violence, more death. And you could have stopped it. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. There might be people inside walkers. Did you mean it? Is he right? Honestly, I just told him what he wanted to hear. Walkers are just walkers. So you lied? We needed his help to save our friends. So lies can help sometimes. Huh. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. I've never met anyone like James before. I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd call them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. No, it's just another word for party. Right. 
I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be her last chance. Mm. I wanted to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, the decor, decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. School pride. What's his name? Beat Nick. <laughs> That's funny. Do you even get what the joke is? <laughs> no. How do you play with it? You draw pictures like this. <laughs> cool. There, for luck. Are bunnies lucky? Just their feet. I like the music, even though it's loud. How's the drawing coming? Can I see? Nope, it's not done yet, but it is pretty good. Have you ever ridden a horse? Mm-hmm, and I'll teach you to ride someday. I'm done, Clem, come see. Okay, be right there. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. I don't think I should have watched Abel turn into a monster, Clem. I know I asked, but... It gave me a sore throat. What do you mean? 
I don't know, like swallowing was hard. It sounds weird, but it happened. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him too. I think there's something wrong with me. Some things are hard to look at. Difficult and messy to take in. But you can't let any of that make you soft. Okay? Hard, but still good where it counts, right? Right. We're still good where it counts. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay. What are you thinking about right now? You getting bit. Turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah. The older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. Well, first, it would suck. Like, big time. And then... I'd have to nom nom eat you, little boy. <laughs> Stop! AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I want to be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. You're not even gonna say anything? Are you at least gonna think about it? Because I'm super serious about it. You can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. What's with AJ? He just needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today? With Minnie? Yeah, sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused, I guess. We can still save Minnie. If we brought her back, we could... You saw how she reacted when Lily showed up. Those are her people now, and we are not. Minnie? The real Minnie. She's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ, or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Oh, I, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. But then I realized under all that, he, he really cares about people. 
and he doesn't just feel it, he says it. He'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis Omar Asim, we'll get them all back. Um, I made you this. <sighs> Stars? So you never forget that night? I never will. When you told me you had feelings for me, I was shocked. Then I started thinking. There's something I've always wanted to try with someone I cared about, and I never have. What is it? Have you ever danced with anyone before? <laughs> nope. Do you... wanna? Just us. No one else around. I mean, I know it's kind of weird, but it's something I've always wanted to try. Thanks for the dance. Yeah, we're getting better at being romantic. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Clem! <laughs> wow. Where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up, and, and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. <laughs> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back! Think fast. Ouch! <laughs> I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? But Lewis isn't here. See that? <laughs> it's like Lewis in a box. Come on. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting like, we're gonna get through this. Straight and to the point, we're getting them back. Yeah, we sure are. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. So you take one of those black things that look like plates and you put it on here. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but 
purple might be nice. Room gets natural moonlight, so something to complement that, maybe? Hmm. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. Purple. <laughs> really? What? I like purple. Shouldn't you like it too, Violet? I'll make it happen. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so I could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Wouldn't happen to have any good jazz records, would you? Oh, yeah. The old music teacher was a big fan. Pretty cool guy up until he ditched us all. What's jazz sound like? Ugh, that one's hard to describe. Mm, just wait till you hear it. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem! Check it out! I found a bunch of books on ships! There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff! The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. Uh, is it me, or is there a bit of a bomb obsession at this school? Oh, it's not you. There totally is. But for good reason! The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle? I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. Let's name it after you, Ruby. Yeah? Hell yeah, Ruby's Revenge. Goddamn right. I found them! Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, you might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. 
I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlin. You'd think so, but nope. Really? The person in the file? <laughs> Imagine Marlin times another Marlin. That's Ruby's file! <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Yeah, you should have seen Ruby back in the early days. She was like, uh, you ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons when you were a kid? <laughs> that was our Ruby. He used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry, that was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please, no. Chronic masturbation. Trust me. Nobody wanted to know that. What does that mean? Ah, uh, don't you dare. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? I like all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Throw some country on. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar? Erin. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Lewis. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all, I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house growing up. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I'd just feel really weird and turn up the volume, you know? Anyway, one day she left the den and came back with another chair and a 22 rifle. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher. The real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand. And uh, use that to push the trigger in. So yeah, bang, right? Her body folded up and just kept rocking. My mom came to get me five hours later. I hadn't moved. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like grandma was 
going anywhere. And besides, I just wanted to finish my cartoons. She shipped me off to Erickson the next day. I was 11. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty fucked up. Pretty much. We weren't good people, Clementine. But it still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. Sorry. This is supposed to be fun. I'm I'm just not the game type, like Lewis was, I guess. You mean is. We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Too bad I can't play it. Lou would have known how. Huh? He'd like that one. You could just sing it to us, like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right, I, uh... I can do that. Hey, sweet pea. We? Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Quick stunning. 
So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. You kinda had to think on your feet. Monsters took over the world, and you got stuck taking care of an eight-year-old girl. You were a handful, but I didn't get stuck with anything. You kept me going. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many, and they always fall apart, but I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them. Alive. That's right. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Those boys are gonna have hope again knowing that you came to rescue them. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A girl who loves you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. If you know of any. Lee, I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's changed completely. <laughs> oh my god, Lee. AJ's trouble sometimes. He wouldn't believe it. And he has no idea. He's growing up too fast. <laughs> Sounds like someone else I know.
Wow. Just look at you. <laughs> Just look at you. <laughs> Thought I told you to keep this short. Um, you don't know how hard it is to find scissors these days. <laughs> We're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh. I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Willie, too loud. Yeah, right. Sorry. It's okay. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey. Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, Tank, can you come talk for a sec? There's something I have to tell you. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just... being welcomed. It's strange. That one boy called me cool. Not sure anyone's ever said that to me. I really am rambling. Anyway... I wanted to show you something. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whisperers together. But... it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that fiercely. So much so that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him, 
didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. All I knew was someone like him would only slow us down. What's your point, James? After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that, from a young age, it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. Being ruthless is what's kept him alive. That's all that matters. And if history remains true, it'll be what gets him killed. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Dan, take care of the supplies. I've got the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Violet told me about Minnie. That Sophie died and Minnie is one of them now. Just, if you see her out there, Tell her, tell her I forgive her, please. I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. I know she's different now, but that's why I want her to know. Maybe she'll change her mind and want to come home. We gotta move. Clem? What happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there? What if it's you? I couldn't save Minnie or Lou or a Sim. Omar. I... I, I really care about you, Clem. If something happened to you because of me, I can't lose you too. I won't. You better not disappear on me, okay? I promise. <laughs> what are you doing? Look in another direction. Are we good? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's bring our friends back home. All of them. All of them. It's ready. So, I know this is gonna sound gross, but... Covering your smell. <laughs> Smart.
get my back? Thanks. We gonna do it? We're doing it. Okay, follow my lead. the walkers. Use them as shields. Walkers, use them as shields. Leaving cover. We'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. The guts are washing off. This way. Fine. Stay close. Stay hidden.
Come on, let's hurry. Ready, AJ? Walkers! Getting close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Minnie said there were eight raiders, but we didn't see that many outside. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Right behind you. Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? City name. Step out here slowly. Rockingham. Stop lurking around in the dark and get back to your post. <laughs> Asshole. That's where we need to plant the ball. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in. your name, Ruby's Revenge. Bury this thing in the bottom of the river. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. Let's hurry up then.
Minerva, focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I have a little brother. Short, scarred face. See? He's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. Sneak past her. Get out. Not without our people. I swear to God. If you got Tim caught up in this, just just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Take care of Louis first. He's... He's in rough shape. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Doreen comes back. Violet, help me with these guys. Got it. Lewis. Lewis. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Please. for this. I promise you, Lewis. <laughs> Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> You'll be home soon. here that long. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! <sighs> Thank God. Shit. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it. They must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? 
Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you, it ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He got hurt bad in a fight. We let him turn. He wanted to die quick, but we didn't let him. Fuck, you little monster. Damn it! Abel was in so much pain from the fall. He begged for us to kill him. It wasn't pretty. That's enough. Back up. Minerva, open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. You should have never attacked us, Lily. Your mission was a bad idea from the start, and you failed. And you're still mouthing off, despite being in a cell. That'll change. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The consequence is... I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the Parable of the Twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. 
The people there grew corn and raised pigs, and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting, or they'd lose everything they built. Their crops, their power, even their lives. They threatened to cut out their tongues? They only do that to the ones who can't keep their mouths shut. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. What the Jesus fuck? Jesus Christ. Minnie. No, tell me it's not true. Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one? Or the dead one? What have you done to her head, you fucking psychotic bitch? You're evil! You are fucking evil! Violet, calm down. You saw what they did to Lewis. Just do what they say. Why? So I can become a soldier in their army? Someone who kills the people they love? Fuck that! Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Violet, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo. You better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck no! Get off of me! Uh. Easy! Uh. Stay still. Shit, fuck you, no! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. enough. He bit me! I said that's enough! You deserve to die. We'll kill you! You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river, or we'll tie you up and watch you turn! Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are! Dang. So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. AJ, listen to me. Don't talk to her, okay? She's a monster. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem inside! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't you dare look at me like that! This is the only way we survive. Who are you? Fuck survival! Look at what you're doing! Minnie, 
please. I just want to talk to you for a second. I'm sorry we never searched for you, for Sophie. I'm sorry we trusted that fucker Marlin. If I ever thought there was a chance. I know. I know. Okay? But Sophie, you all need to understand. This is the only way. Lay down, stay in line, or you die. The people you love die. If you just do what they say, you can live. All of you. You can have a nice life. Be rewarded. Just like I am. Behind you! You're the fucking problem here! I won't let you get them all killed! No! AJ. Better see you on land. You will. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Found Plenty one of more food, sneaking comfortable the docks. You, and Clem. you can even share a... Tin! Fuck. Tennessee. Did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. Found this in the herd. <clears throat> no wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? You force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to... The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. Killing. No! What the fuck? Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please, don't! No! Ha! <gasps> 
Pilgrim of sorrow Cast out in this wide world to roam Uncertain of life for tomorrow I want to make heaven my home Sometimes I am tossed and driven Sometimes I know not where to of a city called heaven I'm striving to make it my home I have a few days yet to wander a few more hard battles to fight no comfort I find in the daylight the storms are descending each night Sometimes I'm both tossed and driven Sometimes I know not where to roam I heard of a city called heaven I'm going to make it my land of danger no comfort or peace do I find I am a poor wayfaring stranger to troubles and trials confined I hope that they take me
Fate and my own are the same. 